Hello science people! Today I want to show you how to check your own blood type from home. Alright, if you want to know how blood types work, make sure you check out my video on blood types. But in this video it's just going to be how to check your own blood type from home. In order to do this, we're going to be using what is called an Eldon card. You can order these from the internet, you can order them from Amazon, and so I will be using this Eldon card to check my own blood. Okay, so let's open it up and see what we got. Okay, so looking inside your Eldon kit, it's gonna come with instructions. It's gonna come with the Eldon card right here, which is sealed. We're gonna open this once we are ready. It comes with the Eldon sticks. These are used to collect the drops of blood and then you place each stick onto a well on your Eldon card. It comes with two lancets. The lancet is going to be used to draw blood. You open this, and I'll show you when I go to do it. You open this, you place it against your finger, and then it fires. It fires a little needle into your skin, and that will draw the blood. Now, these Eldon cards that I just got come with two lancets. I am so happy that they now start including two of them. Normally, when I do this with my students, you'll get a kid who will draw blood, and they won't draw enough to complete the Eldon card, and because it only had one lancet, and you can only use these once, they were not able to find their blood type because they were done. So, but this came with two lancets, so you can draw blood, and then if you're not getting enough, you can do it a second time in a different finger or another spot. So happy it has two lancets. In order to do this, you'll also need a cup of water. Just get an average cup of drinking water. So let's go ahead and open up our Eldon card. I'm gonna open this right up here. All right, so when we open up our Eldon card, this is what it looks like, and you have four circles. You have the anti-A, anti-B, anti-D, and then you have the control. So let's talk about what that means. All right, so as you know, there are four blood types you can have. You can have type A, you can have type B, type AB, and type O. The anti-D is whether you are positive or negative. It's really the RH factor. So this will test whether you're positive or negative. The control tests nothing. The reason there's a control there is so you can look at it when you look at all of them and see what nothing really looks like. It's to help you. Now, I recommend with my students, make sure you do the control last. And the reason is you might have trouble getting enough blood out of your finger. And so it's important to get all of these, these three first, then worry about the control last if you still have enough blood. Some of us are bleeders and some of us are not. All right, so why anti-A, anti-B? Let's talk about it. So as you probably know from the blood typing video, okay, if your body is type A, that means it only recognizes A proteins. If yours is type B, you only recognize type B proteins. If you're type O, then that means you don't have any recognition proteins. So the way this works is there's antigens on here. So anti-A attacks A, anti-B, attacks B. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put a drop of blood on all four of these circles. Now if you put a drop of blood on anti-A and it clumps up, it clumps up when it's being attacked. So if you put a drop of blood on anti-A and it clumps up, that means there was A present to be attacked. If you put a drop of blood on anti-B and it clumps up, that means there was B present. So let's talk about what this would look like for each of the blood types. So if I put a drop of blood on both of these, if the A clumps up, then I have type A. If the A and the B clump up, I have type AB. If the A doesn't clump up, but the B clumps up, that means I have type B. If neither of them clump up, then that means I have type O because there wasn't A or B present in my blood. And all of that is in the instructions in the card. Now, if the D clumps up, then that means you had RH present. So that means if it clumps up, you are positive. So here's how mine will look. Mine will be, A will be clumped up, there'll be nothing for B, and then the anti-D will be clumped up, and that will mean that I am A positive. Okay, if you are type O positive, this will look like no clumping, no clumping, clumping. And so that'll be O positive. If you are B positive, then the B will be clumped up and the A, nothing will happen. And the D over here, the RH will be clumped up. And that'll mean that you're B positive. 
if you are type O, then there'll be no clumping, no clumping, and if you're positive, then that'll be clumping. The majority of humans are positive. And then the control, there should definitely be no clumping because there's nothing there. Okay, let's talk about how we do this. All right, so you take the lancet, you're gonna twist this little tip off and it comes off, place the lancet against your finger and then you fire the button. It's gonna poke your skin. Those of you who are afraid of needles, it goes very quick. It's gonna fire into your finger very quickly, very minimal pain, and then you'll hopefully start to bleed. Now, the one thing you really wanna avoid is the blood smearing on your finger. Trust me, I've done this with lots of students. Once the blood smears on your finger, it sticks into your fingerprints and then it's hard to get full drops. What you wanna do is make sure that you're getting full drops without it smearing. So don't touch anything against the actual drops. Okay, so you fire the lancet into your finger and then you begin pinching, squishing your finger. You wanna squeeze upside down so drops of blood start to form. Now, if you're going to use the Eldon sticks, you can break these off, and so that way you have four of these guys. Now, the way these are intended to be used, you see there's a little dimple right here, a little hole, and so they remind me of little tiny ladles. And so once you prick yourself and you squeeze, you're gonna squeeze until a drop of blood is falling, and then you're gonna kind of barely touch the Eldon stick to that drop of blood, so the drop of blood is caught in the Eldon stick. Then you take this and then you lay it sideways so it spills out into the antigen circle. And then you continue to do that for each of these Eldon sticks and you place them into those circles until you have all four drops. And you need a nice big drop. Now, some of my students prefer to take their finger and just let the drops of blood fall into each of the four circles. Now, you can do that but hopefully you're a well enough bleeder in order to do that. So I'm going to, for this demonstration, do it the proper way with the Eldon sticks, but if you want, you can try and just get the drops of blood to fall into those circles. Okay, and again, if you take the Eldon stick, do not touch it against your skin. If you touch it against your skin, the blood will smear, stick to your fingerprints, and then it'll be really hard to get full drops after that. You want the drop to touch the Eldon stick, but the Eldon stick not to touch your finger. Okay, let's start by activating our Eldon card. We're gonna take the pipette, you're gonna get some water, and then you're gonna let drops of water fall into that little colored circle. Let the drops fall. Do not touch the pipette against the Eldon card because then you can cross contaminate your antigens. So I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze some water. I'm doing two drops into that little circle. All right, so now we have activated our Eldon card. Now it is ready for blood. Now, you gotta choose your finger. Choose a finger that you can squeeze really well. If you are a guitar player or a string instrument player, violinist, it's going to be rough because you probably have very calloused fingers. And so you might want to choose your most sensitive finger, whatever is the easiest to squeeze. I actually really like squeezing my middle finger because I can squeeze out blood from my ring finger and my pointer finger and I can really, or my thumb, and I can really get some good blood that way. Or my pointer finger is pretty easy to squeeze because I have my middle finger and my thumb ready to squeeze it. Okay, so let's begin by getting the lancet ready. You're going to twist and pull. Okay, once again, that was a twist and pull. Now be careful, the lancet is ready to fire. So I'm gonna set that down carefully, remove that. Take the alcohol swab, and you wanna clean the area where you are about to stab. So go ahead and start cleaning. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it on my pointer finger, my index finger, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean this area. And you're gonna to wanna to do it on the meatiest part of your finger, so right in the middle. Don't do the sides or anything weird, just go right for the middle. Okay, so I'm going to take my lancet. I have my backup one ready if I need it. I have my ladles right here, the Eldon sticks, and those are ready, and I'm gonna put a different drop of blood in each Eldon stick. You do not wanna cross-contaminate them. All right, so I'm gonna take this, 
place it against my finger. And the more you think about it, the more you're not gonna wanna do it. So go ahead, place it against your finger and fire. That was it. Okay, so now I start squeezing. And so I'm gonna hold my little ladle under my finger. And I'm gonna squeeze, 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 squeeze. Okay, I got one drop of blood right there on my Eldon stick. I'm gonna take that and I'm just gonna touch it right here, let it spill out onto that card. And I'm gonna keep squeezing my finger, trying to make sure I get enough blood out. All right, so I did not get enough blood out of that finger yet. So I'm going to go ahead and do my middle finger now. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean my middle finger. And I'm gonna get my second lancet, twist, pull. All right, and I'm gonna get ready to fire the lancet into my middle finger. Okay, so here we go. Go ahead and squeeze. All right, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze the finger. All right, avoid the temptation of touching the Eldon stick to the drop of blood until you have enough of it out there. I am not bleeding very well today, but that's okay. This will help show you guys the struggle when you're not a bleeder. Make sure you drink lots of water and you're hydrated beforehand. Okay, so now I got a good drop coming out there. I'm gonna go ahead and now catch it on the Eldon stick. All right, so now you take that and then you turn it upside down. Make sure it comes out all over. Okay, and then let's see if I got enough for the control, but maybe not. Okay, so now what you wanna do is you wanna take those Eldon sticks and you wanna smear it and just swirl it all around. And you just wanna keep going for about 10 seconds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. All right, that one is done. Do not cross contaminate. Now I'm gonna smear this one. Just keep smearing it all around. All right, so now that I'm done, if you look down at my Eldon card, you will see all of that little clumping in the anti-A. That's clumping because the A recognition proteins on my blood are being attacked by that anti-A, that antigen. If you look at the anti-B section, you can see the blood is just clean, smeary, kind of runny, but there's no clumping. That means I had no B in my blood. So there was no B recognition protein for the antigen to attack. And then you look over here at the anti-D, the RH factor. I didn't get that much blood on it, but you can see the little specks. So there is clumping going on there. So that means that I am positive. The control, it's just kind of smeary and runny. So nothing really happened over there, which is good. You don't want anything to happen to your control. And so the way to read this is I am type A positive. And so if your A clumps and the anti-D, you're A positive. If the A and B clump up, and the anti-D, then you're AB positive. If the A doesn't clump and the B clumps, then you're B. If none of them clump, then you're O. If none of them, completely none of them clump, you're O negative. And so that is how you read an Eldon card. And then you can go ahead and let the blood dry. Then you go ahead and fill out your card and then you'll take the sticker that came with it and you can stick that over that and you can keep your card as a souvenir. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed learning how to type your own blood. If you do type your own blood, let me know in the comments what your blood type is. It'd be interesting to see what the most common blood type is amongst David Bird Science viewers. And I'll leave you with this. There was this great sea captain and he was out sailing the seas. His crew saw a pirate ship and they yelled, Captain, pirate ship. And he yells, get me my red shirt. He puts on his red shirt, the pirates attack, they have a bloody battle and they win and the crew is excited and they continue to travel the seas a couple days later two pirate ships attack the captain yells get me my red shirt they bring him his red shirt the pirates board they attack there's a bloody battle and the captain wins and they say captain why do you always ask for your red shirt he says in case i get stabbed or injured and i bleed 
You won't be able to tell that I'm bleeding, and I don't want the crew to lose hope by seeing their captain bleed, so I always wear my red shirt when we go to battle. The next day, three pirate ships attack, and they say, Captain, three pirate ships are attacking, and he yells, Get me my brown pants. All right, everybody. I'll see you next time.